Charleston White just did one of the most low down things I think I've ever seen anybody do. Now, I only seen a clip, so we're going to review the full situation in its entirety, and maybe I changed my mind. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Charleston White calling CPS on Finesse two times. Now, the CPS call is surrounding a young rapper by the name of Lil King, who is 90 years old. Now, Lil King has been online acting <laughs> like anything other than a Boy Scout. Check the shit out of her. She played. She knows she shouldn't have did that. Come on, man. Tell her to get on the live. On the live. On Come on. Hey, yeah, that's what you need to do. Everybody nah, tag her in there, John. I'm for the attitude. I'm for the flame, man. man. What I wrote, uh -huh. me. Finesse two times have been heavily criticized for condoning how Lil' King is acting. People are saying that Lil' King cussing around Finesse two times and acting like a grown man is not appropriate. It's not age appropriate. Well, Finesse two times' response was, bruh, I took in Lil' King. When his mama was on dope and his daddy had passed away. I put him in private school. He's well fed. He's well clothed. You know, and he's around a bunch of young black men who got a lot of things going on for themselves. So he sees a way out through us. Now, when Finesse two times said that, well, Low King mother who just got out of jail, who did 22 months, well, she responded back. This is King Mama Tiffany. You know me. And I just wanted to say to y'all. It's lies being told. I'm not on crack. I just did 22 months at the Pentaform. And you know I have not been out long. No, I don't do not have custody to King. King, I miss Keon. I don't have custody. Uh, my mom got in custody. But it's lies being told. I smoke crack. I'm on drugs. This and that. A lot of lies. And for this, I wish... You were really talking to me as a man. I always hear you in the background. Yeah. And I'm, I I don't want to go after you. No type of way. I need you to talk to me as a man and I'm a woman. Maybe I don't have to be yeah. your mom. And King Dad is not dead. And King Dad is not dead. His name is Christopher Mabry. We baby. He's double up. He's from East Memphis. So... Uh, after Lil' King mother spoke out against Finesse two times, while well, Charleston White... Hopped on a bandwagon. Well, Charleston White took it upon himself to go at Finesse two times and take things a little too far under most people's eyes. Thank you for calling. My name is Corey. I would like to make a report today. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I only have rapper names and street names, but I'm sure they're easy to find. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I want to make a report of child neglect and child endangerment. Okay, so before we get into those concerns, I do need to collect some basic information on everyone involved. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry to let you know that your identity has been referred in confidential by state law. Oh, no, no. I, I don't want mine to be confidential. I, mean, I want mine to be identified. I want them to know I did it because I work with children, and it's an obligation to report something when you think children are in danger. Okay. What's your name? Charleston White. A-R-L-E-S-T-O-N-C-H-I-T-E. Yes, ma'am. Just like Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, and how do you know the child? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't. I got a video that was sent to me uh, that was made by this child online uh, making threats. Uh, there's videos of this child in the clubs at night with, with convicts, thugs around drugs and guns. And the kid's name, name is Lil' King. He's a, he's a popular little rapper. So I have a, I have a video uh, that I can send that you guys really can pull up on YouTube uh, called Lil' King Goes In on Charleston White. So just some of the things that he was saying in his video with the adults around him and then the other videos that's surfacing online with him being in clubs uh, were, were, were almost every rap event that these guys have been at, they've had shootings. Okay, give me just a moment here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. White, are you familiar with our email notification process? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. Could you, could you explain it to me? So if you provide us an email address at the end of the report, we'll send you a link to the website, our website, where you can go to track your referral, and it'll let you know if the referral will be criteria before you feel to be involved. Okay, yes, ma'am.
While calling CPS, Charleston White referenced a video of Lil' King going off on him. Now, what you guys didn't see in this video is that Charleston White was on another live stream where Charleston White essentially alluded to and just outright said the finesse two times was molesting Lil' King. Well, Lil' King wasn't having it. He's nine years old, but he wasn't having it. So he came on his live stream to address Charleston White saying that he was being molested. Charleston White, you get caught, you get smacked, and we're going to strip you. And that's on your memory, like. You getting scripted. I swear to God, you're going to get scripted, fool. Talking about molested. You got to be gay. He can't get caught in Texas. You scripting him. It ain't no nothing to talk about you getting scripted off the real. I swear to God, you get scripted. Everybody. They're going to be somewhere six feet under. Currently playing, thinking it's a joke. It's a joke. Who that mind playing with me, fool? We catch that mind, fool. We going to strip this. This on my grandma's head. Who? What happened? On the right, right hand in the Bible. What happened? Who that mind playing with me, I got lifted and finessed. If we catch him in that, we going to knock him. I'm gonna come, come off that, bro. He ain't no man. doing no talking. He better have security. We're gonna beat this old ass. We're gonna beat that man black and blue. Yeah, beat. It's old week. I'm through talking. You get caught, you beat. And then you know that right now. Fool, that man made a video talking about some. Oh, uh, yes. I got I catch it. That's a nine-year-old boy talking like that. Talking like, yo, we going to strip him. We going to beat him. We going to put him six feet under in a coffin. He's talking like that because he feels like he has backup. Because he knows he's not doing that to Charleston White on his own. He feels as if he got the backing and support of Finesse two times and his friends. But here's my general take on this. See, if Charleston White feels or he has a genuine concern and he truly, truly believes in his being that that kid is being harmed in any way, then as a citizen, he has every right to call CPS and make that complaint. But I just have a sneaky suspicion that Charleston White did that to be an internet troll, that he did that to just be a nuisance. He did that to troll finesse two times and for internet clout. I don't think Charleston White has a genuine concern for this kid's safety. I think he did that, you know, just to troll. Now, Charleston White did take to his Instagram again to clarify why he called. So let's check it out. CPS workers. My mother used to be a CPS parent. My mother used to be a CPS worker, a foster parent. I watched my mother do this. <laughs> so I get, I got my mother's spirit of working with kids. I've been working with kids for over 12 years, boy. You think I'm gonna sit back and listen to this? What I told Memphis Child Protective Services is, that three of your last 10 shows been shot up, brother. Three of your last 10 shows been shot up, brother. And you got this baby with you in the entourage around those kind of guys. Yo, he's making some good points. Like, if your last, if three out of your last 10 shows have been shot up. Now, I'm not even sure if that statistic is true because Charleston White is a known liar, a pathological liar at that. But if that's true, then Lil' King probably shouldn't be at those shows. Well, unless Lil' King is getting bookings, right? But even at that, though, he shouldn't. Bro, even if Lil' King is getting bookings, he shouldn't be out at 9, 10 p.m. to do any show. I can't wait to the caseworker locate that baby. Now, I just want to remind y'all. Y'all let a kid do this. But God allowed this to happen so that kid can get some help. That's why God allowed this to happen. I didn't have this on my mind. Somebody sent me a video of this kid last night. I stayed up all night looking and researching, trying to figure out something about this kid. And it's very disturbing. It's very disturbing. So it was an honor and it was a pleasure to do what any man would do 
when he believes a child is in danger and being neglected and especially being misled. I said my prayer. I said my prayer. Yo, if Charles White is being genuine, then I applaud it. But I don't think we can say that low king life is in danger, especially if an S2 time got this kid in private school, got this kid, you know, the best of clothes, got him living in a mansion. Like, we can at least say that Finesse Two Time is trying to, to do his best. You know, now, has he been perfect? No, right? Allowing King to cuss, allowing King to make drill music, allowing King to hang out at 10, 11, 12, you know, in the club. You know, that's probably not wise, right? But we can't say that Finesse Two Time is going out of his way to harm this kid, man. And I pray. I pray. I pray they locate this baby quickly and swiftly so these niggas can go back to being street niggas and rappers and lead the babies out of it. Mm. Since y'all say I should lead the babies out of it, you got the baby in it, nigga. Mm. And you want to parade this baby around and think we can't speak on it? I can't say nothing about the baby's behavior. Mm. And this is some of the most vile disgusting behavior that any kid can display on any stage and you said i can't nigga i'm willing to die behind this shit <laughs> hey listen there it goes hey <laughs> there yo i'll be real i ain't willing to die for nobody <laughs> right so listen if you're willing to die my brother them them by all means man call cps by all means call it yeah i'm willing to die behind this shit my nigga you see i ain't changed i ain't stopped I ain't changed and I ain't stopped. And everybody know where I be in Texas, nigga. No, no, no. I ain't done. Now, you know that's Cap Charleston. You know that's Cap Charleston. <laughs> you know that's Cap Charleston. <laughs> you know that's Cap, my boy. Stop it, man. On chief for this. That's Cap Charleston, you feel me? Because Brick Baby came to Texas looking for you, bro. Brick Baby came to Texas looking for Charleston White, my boy. All right? And you in response to <laughs> Yo, you made a thousand videos about Break Baby, right? Before Break Baby came to Texas. And when Break Baby touched soil, man, you didn't respond back. They couldn't locate you, Charleston. So stop that, man. Don't say that, my boy. Nigga, you ain't no big dog, nigga. You work for J. Prince, son. <laughs> you up under J. Prince, son. You up under Junior's arm, boy. Mm. With, with, with money bag, yo, arm leaning on your other neck, nigga. Don't talk tough to me, boy. I know where you done time at, nigga. And I can call down there right now, nigga. Imagine a rat calling a prison to pull paperwork on somebody. <laughs> Is you crazy? You ain't had one motherfucking fight down there, finesse. So let the baby be a baby, man. Don't come talk. You rap real good, my nigga. <laughs> but you didn't pimp that good where you didn't starve. You was starving, nigga. That's why you was shooting at a club instead of going back to prison, my nigga. You wasn't having that kind of money, nigga. <laughs> Jay Prince done gave you more money than you done ever had in your life. And that's the most you go ever get, nigga. Because Jay Prince don't pay. Everybody know that. <laughs> Everybody know Prince don't pay, nigga. You with the Prince family. Everybody know you getting fucked. Yo, all right, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Yo, what y'all think, bro? Do y'all think Charleston White had a genuine, 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 you, you know, like concern? Or do you think Charleston White is just doing this for some attention, bro? Y'all let me know. Right? It's your boy, Porty Flacco. Like the video, sub to the channel, comment for the algorithm. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.